Hi everyone, welcome to Silas Infotech. Today, we're going to set up an IPsec VPN client for remote access on your FortiGate firewall. Stay tuned because by the end of this video, you'll be a VPN pro. In this video, you will learn how to create an IPsec VPN user, create addresses, configure an IPsec VPN tunnel, and set up a firewall policy. All right, let's talk about why you might need a VPN to your network from anywhere in the world. Whether you're working from home or traveling, here's an in-depth look at our IPsec VPN client remote connection setup diagram. We will configure it step by step based on this diagram. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell icon. That way, you'll be the first to know whenever I upload something new. Let's get started. Step 1. Log into FortiGate web interface using your login credentials. Here, you'll notice that my computer is connected to the management port. The LAN side server and client computer are connected to port 13 and port 14, respectively. The internet is connected through the WAN 1 port of the FortiGate firewall. Step 2. Let's create a user and a user group for our VPN access. Navigate to user and authentication. Select user definition. Click on create new, choose local user and click next. Enter your username and password, then click on next. In the two-factor authentication keep default and click on next, then click on summit. You'll notice that a new IPsec VPN user has been successfully created. Now, let's create the new IPsec VPN group. Go to user and device, user groups. Click on create new and name your group something, like IPsec VPN group. Add the users who will be part of this VPN group. Click OK to save your new user group. You'll notice that a new IPsec VPN group has been successfully created. Let's move to step three. All right, let's dive into creating the IPsec VPN tunnel on your FortiGate firewall. Go to VPN, select IPsec wizard, then enter IPsec VPN tunnel name. Choose remote access and click next. Configure gateway, enter your remote gateway IP address or host name. Set pre-shared key, choose a secure pre-shared key for authentication. Select group, select the appropriate group and click next to continue. Set up phase 1 and phase 2 settings as needed. In this video, I will be using port 14 as the local interface. Local address 192.168.10.0 slash 2 for network. If you haven't created a local address yet, just click the create button and enter your IP address. Enter your client IP address range. I am going to use 10.50.13 for dot two hundred to ten dot to five o dot one three for dot to two o. If you want to specify a DNS server, select specify button and enter your server address. In this video, I will be using Google DNS server IP address one dot one dot one dot one. I will define enable IPv for split tunnel in the next step of this video. Enable the safe password, auto connect and always up options, then click next. Check all settings and click finish to save the tunnel. You'll notice that a new IPsec VPN tunnel has been successfully created. Next step. We need to set up firewall policies to allow traffic through our VPN. We use the IPsec wizard to create the VPN tunnel, so all necessary firewall policies have been set up automatically. 
A firewall policy is a set of rules that controls which network traffic is allowed or blocked. Set the source address to our VP and user group, the destination to our internal network. Don't forget to accept the policy. Let's review the IPsec VP and tunnel once and edit if needed. The enable IPv for split tunnel feature in IPsec VPN on a FortiGate firewall allows you to route only specific internal network traffic through the VPN tunnel, while other traffic like internet browsing can be routed directly through the user's local gateway 1. This setup can improve internet browsing speed and reduce latency since only traffic destined for the internal network is sent through the VPN 1. Let's configure IPsec VP and client on the remote site. You can ensure that the remote site computer is connected to a different network and also has an internet connection. Also, make sure you have already installed Forti client on the remote computer. If you haven't installed it yet, you can find the download link in the description below. Last step, set up Forti client on the remote computer. Click on configure VPN to add a new connection. Choose IPsec VPN as the connection type. Provide a name and description for the connection. Enter the remote gateway IP address or host name. Select the authentication method, pre-shared key or certificate and enter the necessary credentials. Click save to save the connection. Enter your username and password, then click connect to establish the VPN tunnel. That should get you up and running with your IPsec VPN on FortiClient. Yes, it is. You'll notice here that the remote computer is connecting to FortiGate through the IPsec VPN tunnel and is getting the IP address 10.50.13 for.200. You can also verify the connection from the FortiGate dashboard. Just head over to the VPN section and check the status of your IPsec VPN tunnel to ensure everything is running smoothly. Ensure that the remote computer receives an IP address from the IPsec VPN tunnel client address range. From the remote computer, ping an internal and external network device to ensure connectivity. To clarify the ping is passing through the designated network, you can use the S option with the ping command. For example, ping 1.1.1.1 as 10.50.13 for.200. If you enable IPv for split tunnel feature and IPsec VPN on a FortiGate firewall allows you to route only specific internal network traffic through the VPN tunnel, while other traffic like internet browsing can be routed directly through the user's local gateway 1, this setup can improve internet browsing speed and reduce latency since only traffic destined for the internal network is sent through the VPN1. And there you have it, you successfully set up an IPsec VPN client for remote access on your FortiGate firewall. If this video was helpful, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech tutorials. Got questions? Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and stay secure.